the coefficient of x in the expansion of x plus 1 over ax squared to power 7 is 7 over 3. Find the possible values of a. So the first step is to write down the binomial expansion formula because you're trying to find here a specific term, all right? So write down the binomial expansion formula um, or the binomial theorem, which uh, goes like this. A plus B to power N is equal to whatever comes first plus N choose R, which is a, a formula for the general term. Uh, A to power N minus R, B to power R plus whatever comes next. Now, <clears throat> by uh, inspection, we can see that a is equals to x, b is equals to 1 over a x squared, and uh, um, n is equals to 7. So all that we need to do is to plug this into the general formula to find what we need. So the, the general formula is um, 7 choose r x to power 7 minus r 1 over a x squared to power r so <clears throat> we need to find the term in x to power 1 all right Okay, we want the coefficient of x. So what we need to do is we need to find the term in x to power 1 to be able to find uh, the coefficient of x. So basically um, what we need to find is the term in x to power 1. So, which means that the combined powers of x are 1. So, if the combined powers of x are 1, what we need to do here is just to um, equate the power of x to um, 1 and solve for r. That way we can go back to our general formula and find uh, the term in x, to, uh, x in 1. So basically what I mean here is from the general formula, let's just focus on powers of x. So if we focus on powers of x, we'll have x to the power of 7 minus r multiplied by um, 1 over x squared to power r will be equal to x to power 1. And we can simplify this use lo using laws of exponents or laws of indices. Um, x to power 7 minus r multiplied by x to power negative 2 to power r is equal to x to power 1. And if we get powers of x, we'll have 7 minus r minus 2r will be equal to 1, which means 7 minus 3r is equal to 1, and that will imply that 3r is equal to 6, so r will be equal to 2. So, and then we can plug this value of r into the general formula to find the term in x to power 1. So, basically, what we can say here is that the term in x to power 1 is um, 7 choose 2, x to power 7 minus 2, 1 over ax squared to power 2. And if we simplify this, 7 choose 2 can be found from our calculators. So 7 choose 2 is 21. So that will be um, 
21 multiplied by uh, x to the power 5 multiplied by 1 over s squared x to the power 4 which will be equal to 21x over a um, <clears throat> so ideally the term the term in x to the power 1 is 21x uh, over a but what the question is asking us is that this term is actually equal to um, the coefficient of x is 7 over 3, which basically means that um, this guy here, the coefficient here, is equal to 7 over 3. So I'll just write it here, but the coefficient of x from the question is 7 over 3. So what that means is that 21 over a is actually equal to 7 over 3. So what we can do is we can equate them and um, solve for um, <clears throat> a. And by the way, this is a squared. Okay, so 21 over a squared so 21 over s squared is equal to 7 over 3 and you can cross multiply this which means that uh, um, 21 multiply by 3 7 multiply by s squared so 63 is equal to 7 s squared so s squared will be equal to 63 over 7 which is equal to 9 which is uh, 3 or negative 3 the coefficient of x squared in the expansion of 1 plus 3x to the power n is 189. So find n if n is greater than 0. So the first step here is um, we need to write down the binomial expansion formula because you're trying here to find the specific term. So the plan is we shall use the general uh, term formula to be able to find what n is. So the first step, like I said, is um, write down the binomial expansion formula. So a plus b to power n is equals to whatever comes first plus uh, the general term formula. So a to power n minus r, b to power r plus whatever comes next. And by inspection, we can see that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3x, and of course, n is just n. So, which means that the general term in this expansion, so the general term um, will be equal to um, nr, because we don't know what n and r are, and 1 to power n minus r, 3x to power r, which simplifies to nr um, 3x to power r, because 1 to power anything is just 1. So we need to find um, the coefficient of x squared which means we need to find the term in x, uh, x squared. So we need to find the term in x squared. So by inspection, r is equals to 2. Okay, because just by looking here, you can see that r has to be equal to 2 for you to have uh, the term in x squared. Okay, so back to our general term. So basically, uh, we can now write down the term in x squared because we know what r is. So the term 
in x squared is uh, n2 or n choose 2 3x squared because r is 2 and this simplifies to n choose 2 multiplied by 9x squared now we need to use uh, the binomial coefficient formula to be able to simplify n choose 2 now um, <clears throat> So the binomial coefficient formula says that n choose r is equals to um, n factorial over r factorial um, n minus r factorial. Okay. So we can use that formula to simplify um, n choose 2. So n choose 2 can be written as uh, n factorial over 2 factorial um, n minus 2 factorial and this can be simplified as uh, n into n minus 1 n minus 2 factorial over 2 factorial which is just 2 multiplied by 1 uh, multiplied by n minus 2 factorial now this case cancel which means our expression will be simplified to um, n into n minus 1 over 2 so the term in x squared is uh, that multiplied by 9 x squared so you can say in x squared is um, n into n minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 9 x squared now back to the question the question states that um, the coefficient of x squared in this expansion is 189 so basically it says that the coefficient here which is this one here Okay, should be equal to 189. Yeah, but the coefficient of x squared is 189. So what you are going to do is to equate these guys and solve for n. Okay, so <clears throat> we can go ahead and say n into n minus 1 over 2 multiplied by 9 is equals to 189 which means n into n minus 1 will be equal to 189 multiplied by 2 over 9 which is equal to 42 so basically what we have is this equation n squared minus n um, is equal to 42 or we can write it as n squared minus n minus 42 is equals to 0 so what you're trying to find is two numbers that are to give you negative 1 and multiply to give you 42 and the numbers are negative 7 and 6 so we can factorize this uh, um, quadratic equation as um, n minus 7 n plus 6 uh, is equal to 0 which means either n is equals to 7 or n is equals to negative 6 but we know that n is greater than 0 from the question which means um, n is equals to 7 <laughs>